Ice baths. A surefire way to mental resilience. In the past, I've done ice baths at 12 to 15 degrees Celsius. Today, I want to go colder. So we used nine bags of ice to turn the water a cool six degrees. You always wanna start at a safe level like cold showers and slowly work your way up to an ice bath. I aim to get my cold exposure on a regular basis, so about one to four times per week. At first, there's a bit of shock from entering the super cold water. So I'm breathing in through my nose and out through my mouth. I'm quite alert and my body's fully engaged here. As I start to calm down, I transition to inhales and exhales through my nose. This helps me get to a zen-like state where I feel like I'm in control. As you can see here, my fists are clenched because I'm still feeling the discomfort of being in ice. My mind is trying to negotiate while my body knows that I've experienced this before and I can safely stay in. It takes about two minutes for most of us to acclimatize. Say something stoic. <laughs> what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Now here's something really interesting I learned from Huberman Lab. Cold exposure can be used in two ways, to increase metabolism or build resilience. Metabolic increase is triggered by cold-induced shivers because it stimulates brown fat thermogenesis. I'm more interested in resilience training, which is triggered by resisting the shivers through breath work. That's a new level. Oh, I don't know if I can do it. You'll know the difference between real pain and self-created pain. I felt my pain receptors scream after about 10 seconds. I still wanted to challenge myself though, but made it a bit easier by dipping in my elbows after that got comfortable, I put in more of my torso all the way to my neck. Now it's a great time to tell you about a study on cold water immersion up to the neck. So water temperature of 14 degrees Celsius or lower leads to long sustained release of dopamine at 2.5 times the baseline, which is significant. To put it into context, it's similar to a stimulant high or an orgasm, except those are quick hits versus slow release. If you've ever participated in cold water immersion, then you are aware of those feelings of euphoria, well-being, clarity, and focus right after an exposure. There's a piece of cake, dog. <laughs> 